All right, hello, and welcome to a tutorial on Audacity and how to save multiple tracks um, as individual files. So I've been recorded, recording here, and I have um, several tracks here. And as you can see, I had started one track and then stopped recording and started recording again, so it, it made another track for me. So I went through and kind of labeled each of these d individual parts so that I knew what they were, ta what I was talking about so I wouldn't have to listen to each track. And you can do that by hitting the little down, little V down arrow carrot thing here and hitting name and then that will allow you to rename anything, all the tracks, whatever you want to call them because the default name is um, audio track and then it would so and that's not very descriptive of what's going on other than it's an audio track all right so now what I want to do is save each of these tracks so what we're gonna do is go to file and then you're gonna go down to export multiple and then we are going to go to export format and I want to choose wave because it's easier um, it adds for a cleaner sound there's really no compression that goes on with when you save as a wave then I want to choose where it's going to to export to and I have it set to a file on my desktop called audio um, you can split files based on a number of different ways and I choose to do it by tracks that allows for each of these tracks to be an individual file um, if I already had a file named like step one I could check to overwrite it with the one that I already have and then that the, it will label the file names however you want to label them so you could use the track name that you gave it or you could do the numbering of consecutively so it could be like photo movie audio and then um, it would be photo movie audio one photo movie audio two and so forth and so on so what we're gonna do here is click export because everything's all set to go and we'll export each all of the files that are here and it gives you an OK. So we can take a look at that. So here's my audio file. Open that up and there's the four individual files. Alright, so that's all for this part and then I will show you later how to set this up so you can get working again with your individual files.